I need to remember to actually like do it like I'm starting a video. So, hello, we are watching five ghost videos. So scary. Karen called the manager. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Boop boop. You don't fail that again as well. Oh my god, I'm so good at this. I'm so professional. No wonder I've only got 48 subscribers now because I lost two subscribers. 98% sure it's fake, we've added in sound and such, the door slam seems like he's hiding somewhere in the room. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of videos like that. What I'm saying is there are other videos by him that they didn't show in that clip that are quite creepy and uh, more difficult to fake. Alone in her bathroom to record a TikTok video when she captures something truly terrifying. Oh, I was looking the complete other side. <laughs> Anybody else looking the other side of that? While Alicia switches back and forth from a reflection to herself, what looks That's to be creepy. the figure of a child appears behind or her. Or a man sat on the toilet. <laughs> and then, just as quickly, disappears. Alicia has no idea who or what the mysterious figure could have been. It's so a man in a, a wife beard, dude. Oh my god, it's the dad from the grudge. Hoax. You decide. Ugh. TikTok user Bailey is the operations manager of an old theater that dates all the way back to the early 1900s. Oh, is this the one where Bailey he sat in the chair the and the theater is takes. extremely haunted, with strange sightings and unexplained voices occurring on a daily basis. At the basis. seat, opens and closes behind for him. security reasons, Bailey decided not to share the name of the theater on TikTok. But after some digging, I was able to find the name and the location of the theater. However, I will respect Bailey's wishes and I won't share it here. But I do think it's worth noting that the theater has a very haunted past. People believe Good. the theater's founder, who passed away 60 Probably years could ago, just be fake, but having haunts said that, the playhouse possible. to this day, still looking after his Ow. theater. Oh, my One hips night, are when Bailey is doing alone me a number today, guys. He captures something horrifying. All right, guys, so I work at this uh, old theater. And I actually peed myself. It's a really beautiful theater. Oh, I've see seen this, but... You can see it at all. It's, di it's a different one to the one I'm thinking of. There's not supposed to think. be anybody here, but so... But I've seen this. Just double-checking, but I wanted to film it. Just in case, there's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And um, fun fact, that's a regular thing in a lot of theaters. What is that? Turn up your exposure. Let me get a better look. I can see. <laughs> Oh. Oh, damn. Uh-uh. The creepy figure of a man wearing a suit can be seen in the theater. Oh, I thought it was a woman with one of them, like, bonnet things Bailey on her head. says he's the only one who has access to the area where the apparition can be seen. I don't like that. Okay, so, like, there's their face. There's, like, a wig or something. There's a top hat and there's a suit. Yeah, I see it now. So, no one I thought it was a woman. There. Oh, that's creepy. So, could this be the ghost of the theater's founder still wandering around and keeping an eye on the place? Let me know what you think. I thought it was a woman with one of those like bonnet things. Soleia Eliana is hanging out in the attic with her friend. Oh look, TikTok. Something. Why would you hang out in the attic? Them. Hell no. Okay, so <laughs> a lot of my friends over the years with the blurriness, it could be something else. Yeah, whatever. Don't. Go. <laughs> with a lot of my friends over the years, whenever I stay around theirs, a lot of them um, in the houses they've lived in throughout the years have had these weird hatches, and <laughs> I always call them the grudge hatch, um, <laughs> which has always freaked my friends out. But yeah, it's. <laughs> It's fun saying that, but then when you have to sleep around the houses, it's like, what the fuck? What if somebody comes out the grudge hatch at us? And they're like, will you stop saying that? I'm like, but it's the grudge hatch. 
<laughs> and I just lay there imagining like the grudge crawling out of this fucking hole. Ugh, like, hi, Juan, how you doing? <laughs> God. Slay. <laughs> Slaya is trying to call her mom on her phone while simultaneously screaming out for her as a door in the attic seems to open on its own. Slaya and her friend are terrified. That's creepy. And have no idea but that's just because I've got a history of stuff like that. No, 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 like little doors. Why you got these little doors? Make a full size door. <laughs> then, four days later, she's in the attic again. Why? This time, all alone. So I told my mama about the demon that went booga booga and then I got really scared so she told me I'm not allowed to go to the attic because she's scared, she got freaked out. And so I went to go take a shower, I got out of the shower, she's sleeping, so now it's time to go to the attic. No! First of all, she's gonna beat your ass when, she, when you wake her up from screaming. She's gonna be like, I told you not to go into that fucking attic, twat. <laughs> Schwacker. So it turns out there's a fucking raccoon in my attic. <laughs> oh my god, it's out. So, the terrifying <laughs> demonic creature from hell, after oh, all, I love it. <laughs> a raccoon. Oh, so little baby. So mixed reactions to this comical explanation. <laughs> because sure, a raccoon can tip over a box, but can a raccoon Ooh. swing open an attic door the way it did in our first video? No, that's the grudge, mate. But the <laughs> believe that it still could have been something paranormal. Uh, why did it close uh, when she hit the other door close? Can a raccoon do this? I don't know. A dangerous obsession. Russian YouTuber Dennis from the YouTube channel. Hey, Martin hey, Post. hey! Wait, mask. Wait, wait. Ugh. What's up? We both got the X masks. Hey. Do, do. Except mine's explore. Um. Yes, a demon raccoon, Duncan. It's terrifying. Um. Mine's explore though. I don't know what his is. Um. He's copying explore. Sam and Colby. Word up. <laughs> I just thought that was a weird coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Doot, doot. That's my mask. <laughs> Received a strange message from a woman who had seen several of his videos. She explains that her son was very much into the paranormal. He had a large collection of ghostly pictures and paintings and was obsessed with trying to understand the afterlife. After Sounds his like grandmother me. passed away, he saw the perfect opportunity to establish contact with her at her home. He left his mm -mm. mother's house with the intention of staying at his deceased grandmother's place mm -mm. for a few days. No, oh hell later, no. His mother got an alarming so how's the bank not taking son. that place? In great distress, like, are they still paying for it? Or did she buy it and leave it to them? moving on their own, and he could hear the angry, threatening voices of both of his deceased grandparents. Before I'm sorry, I'm probably sitting, like, not call, where I should be on the camera the right now, but... Dead. Soon after, my, my, my hips. son's lifeless body was found on the street my hips, outside his my grandmother's back. home. I see him, my he had passed away <laughs> from a heart attack. The woman is now absolutely devastated and is trying to find an explanation for her son's untimely passing. Dennis travels to the grandmother's home to investigate. During the day, he sets up cameras in the home to record while he's preparing for his nighttime investigation. While he's away, the cameras capture something very disturbing. Okay, shadow person. Okay, when I say shadow person, like I'm scared of shadow people, that's not the kind of shadow person I'm talking about. I'm talking like full apparition type.
What the hell is that? What the hell is- is they having an earthquake? Is there a train going past? Did I miss a bit of information? Also, why does it look like there's like somebody like crouched? Here. There's a head. And like a body. Is that just me? What was that? A strange shadow figure crosses the room yes. and soon after the whole house begins to shake violently. Even more compelling, if you look closely, this is not simply a camera trick. Objects throughout the entire room can actually be seen vibrating. When Dennis returns to start his nighttime investigation, he has no idea what his cameras have captured. As he's about to turn his cameras back on to record, this happens. Так, ладно, пойду устанавливать камеры. Сейчас включу эту. Wait, is this the one where he gets knives thrown at him, or is that a completely different one? We've watched so many <laughs> at this point. Also, why would you... Why would you live there? I think I missed a vital piece of story or something. After Dennis hears a loud bang and watches as a cabinet door moves on its own, he decides to take his investigation a step further by turning off all the lights, leaving only one dim red light to uh, illuminate Why does it have to be red? He goes through some cabinets and drawers and finds some creepy pictures that were most likely left behind by the woman's deceased. Uh. The sun is said to have collected strange and allegedly paranormal photos from the internet. I hate it. As Dennis is looking through the photos, hate it. things take a terrifying turn. Okay, that just looks like the woman from um You shouldn't have said that. You're disrespecting the boy who collected them. Sorry. <laughs> Ow. Right, laptop, can you just stay where I put you for like two seconds, please? <laughs> Thank you. A loud bang startles uh, Dennis. I hate, I hate pictures like that. I know that he's probably not real. The darkness not picture, what but... sounds like heavy footsteps seeming to come closer and closer. Now very creeped out. He decides <laughs> he to sit straight put in front the of the camera and he turns like, around. Why? Why do you do that? Investigation. So could the I hate pictures like that. in the house be the spirits of the woman's son and his grandparents? Or is it something more dark? and sinister Dark let me know what you think in the comments to watch dennis's full investigation you can check out his youtube channel something powerful Dark enough Ghost. to shake an entire house if you see a video that you think would be perfect i don't know why my my fear. time bar's gone all blue there we go that's better sorry that was annoying me for a while cliff australia recently renovated oh, an old 1930s warehouse oh, wow. that had been sitting empty for over 25 years Mason converted the old like warehouse into an art studio slash bar called Arts and Drafts. Why can't I go here? I need to move to Australia. Picture <laughs> and have a cold one at the same time. I love that. Mason I love that. that. I want to do that. Renovations on the 1930s warehouse. He has seen and heard many odd things around the old building. But being a skeptic, he has always just dismissed the strange occurrences. 
that is until late one night around 2 a.m. The Arts and Drafts studio is closed for the night. Mason is working late, all alone Let's see if in I the building. Late in the lab he one experiences night. something I need to downright stop. terrifying. <laughs> so it's about two o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been working in the studio, and the last couple of nights I've been hearing I thought really it was Australian. creepy sounds. Um, Did I miss information again? And what you see? And um. But don't tip. And like seeing things out of the Show me now, what you're really seeing. Old building, and so Please. that's got me a little bit freaked out. But the top of it was just a, a few minutes ago. I was going to the bathroom, and I was standing in the stall. Mm. And I swear, someone grabbed the back of my shoulder. No, 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 no. I okay. freaked out. Okay, I don't know if anybody knows this. <laughs> when I'm in public bathrooms i always feel like somebody is behind me and is going to grab the back of my neck don't know why it's just always um in public bathrooms especially at the place i work and it really freaks me out because then i look in the mirror and i'm thinking i'm gonna see somebody behind me like reaching for my neck or something i hate it i hate it oh god oh no so Blah. if uh if it doesn't help. My neck's really sensitive, bro. I don't want anybody video. touching me there. You know, it makes me crazy. Like, I don't want to tweak my neck. I've already got issues with my back and my legs. So don't need nothing Domings else. As he goes. So this is where I was. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Do we have to? Hello. <laughs> I hope you are taking a shit. The lights are in the bathrooms, of course. Of course. Any explanation for that? Hello? Hello? Oh, something's gonna creep around the corner, isn't it? Hello? Why didn't he open it all the way? Leave. Hello. Hello. Leave. Oh, Leave. <laughs> Get out of that bog, All dude. Right. I think I'm. I think I'm. Hello. Good. Do you want to be my ghost friend? Yes, I exactly, Duncan. <laughs> That's literally me when I go Did on investigations. I'm like, hello, be my doesn't friend. Notice, but right before he ends the video, a face with glowing eyes can be seen at the end of the hallway. And it seems to be staring uh, directly at him. Yeah, that's what a makes nope. the footage even creepier is the fact that the face appears ten to fifteen feet above. Yeah, the I was literally thinking that. No one or nothing. Like that's either outside the window or creeping around the corner and is like fifteen feet is. tall and hell fucking no mate. I think it was looking around. Oh, I hate it. I hate it when things peek around corners. Why well, things gotta do There's that? Mason Kratz has never oh, caught anything paranormal on camera you know. and is not even a believer in the supernatural. Don't like it. <laughs> but this experience just it's might John have changed Cena. his mind. <laughs> the night do, do, do. visitor. Oh, At great. Masonic Cemetery in Los Angeles, Oh, Cruces, don't. I've been doing a lot of cemetery videos recently. Please don't do this to me. Very disturbing. Because I'm going to be thinking about this next time. I what it is. placed at the graves of their loved ones. At the don't... moment, the only place I think of um, when I think of the graveyard videos is that um worker 2398 or whatever it was and it's that guy going around the, the morgue and there's like a little kid like following him and stuff to go very popular series i don't watch it on decided to set tiktok up a where it originally came from a tree um, to capture pictures of whoever was stealing the grave decorations instead they caught something truly bizarre oh god when they checked the trail camera they found strange, unexplainable images of a small girl wandering around the cemetery in the middle of the night. Hell no! Worried that the girl might be lost, they showed the pictures to the uh, cemetery uh, staff. Uh, uh, no, the no, 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 no. To their core, they said they knew who the small girl was, <laughs> and then led the family to the nearby grave of little Fabiola Gonzalez. Oh. The next day, they showed the pictures to the young girl's no. mother, Sandra Gonzalez. The grieving mother burst into tears 
Sandra says that she immediately recognized So it's not a creepy ghost child, it's a sad role. ghost child. She said that she had no doubt that it was her daughter. Even in the grainy photo, she said she could still instantly recognize her little girl. From her hair to her clothes. That's really sad. That's not shoes. like a Nope, nope, nope. Gonzalez shared the photos on Is her that scary? That's to sad to me. About her daughter's That's I think passing. a lot of spirits aren't and actually I just scary. That you they're just... More about Fabiola's very sad it's just story sad. Like, it's like the spirits Gonzalez in my house. Like, they're not scary. They don't do much to me. Sandrizi. Um. The hospital of shadows. Ugh, I hate hospitals. Over on the hate hospitals. Urbex I hate a lot Terror of things. Alex Tremo. Luis Manuel Mote and his crew explored the abandoned Gonzalo Castaneda Hospital Castaneda. in Mexico City, Mexico. The hospital has been abandoned for nine years He's after it was announced dead. that the whole building could possibly collapse at any time. The property has been left in a state of decay. That's why you gotta be careful when you go exploring. Who dare to enter the building, Honestly, trust me, well, you gotta wear. You gotta be careful, first of all, like, if, if the floors are broken and shit, don't go standing on that. If you do, make sure you stand on the edge of the room the around beams. Make sure it's a supporting wall. Also, make sure you wear steel toe shoes if possible, if not like thick soled shoes. As thick as you can get. Um, you just need to be careful, man. Those shoes, not good. It's pro tips from Ezra. Sí, sí, sí. Aquí se alcanza a ver bien la mano, como una especie de dedos. As the Terror Alex Dreamo team climbs a dangerous staircase, a heavy door falls over on its own. Even creepier, the door appears to be covered in bizarre small handprints. I don't like that. <laughs> it's almost as if someone or something tried to shove the door over onto the team as they were walking there only moments earlier. Throughout their investigation, they keep hearing strange unexplained sounds, but they are unable to identify the source. Sounds about right. Then they hear something again. Honestly, if you don't hear or see anything in a hospital. Something. You must be doing something. Oh, we're not going to the right part. That's what that means? Oh Lewis and his team claim that they see some dark shape actually walk right through a brick wall. But they're too late to capture it on camera. Uh, However, late, at the exact moment it's they see late. the figure, a strange moan can be heard very close to the camera. Oh shh. Yeah, I didn't hear that before. <laughs> now the team investigates the entire building, but they don't seem to be able to capture very much on camera. Extreme terror. At least that's Brilliant. what they thought. That's a cool name. When they upload the video to YouTube, viewers of the Terror Alex Dreamo channel spot some very creepy moments that the ghost hunters missed. In this scene, Lewis and cameraman Yanni are discussing the one. garbage and litter strewn around the room. I'm waiting for more scary but stuff. Then Give, me. Give me. This happens. I, I'm not a masochist, I just like scary things, okay? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, it's a, that's a cloaked figure. Oh, he walked back and forth. Right behind him. Both Lewis and cameraman Mitchell don't notice the figure as it walks okay. past them. It's going back and forth with the way he moves. I think. So it might... Might be his shadow, but at the same time it's not the exact shape or size not once, or... but twice. Yeah, no, but that's not him. It gets even creepier. When they reach the rooftop of the abandoned hospital, <sighs> They find what appears to be a broken down small storage area. Heavy pieces of air conditioning equipment block the entrance, making it impossible for them to go inside. They can get in. So you can instead, climb, but they quickly are you film the inside of the storage space before leaving to go back downstairs. Oh, yeah. What their camera captures Fake is downright chilling. 
<laughs> Someone was walking in the background. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if this is what we're looking at. Oh. Oh, that. Right there. That might have been it. Oh, it looks like there's more pool, though. Oh, hell no. Look at that! That is bright as day right there. It does look like there's another one over here, though. Might be two. Bueno, pues aquí no hay nada. Es puro de aire acondicionado. Oh, they're not seeing that. Turbinas, algo así, no How are they sea. not seeing that? Foxy, bueno. you're making noises, mate. A shadowy, mysterious. I swear I just fucking heard someone behind me. Pillows, why are you falling over? Reese figure seems to be staring at them from the darkness. But again, easy, to, easy to fake, it. but they simply decide to end their exploration. <laughs> don't like that. Head back downstairs. <laughs> but That's what creepy. do you think this could be? So they didn't. Is something haunting the creepy People didn't hospital? see the second figure that I just saw. Or is it all just an okay. elaborate hoax? I might just be making shit up then. As but... always, you decide. You can watch the full video over on the YouTube channel Terror Al Extremo. Extreme Thanks Terror. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter where I. I'm not fluent in Spanish or anything. Okay. That was that was that was good. That was good. Um should we have something different next? Or more horror or um I'm just seeing a bunch of stuff that my friends had to fight, so I'm like, what the fuck is this stuff?